Hey Cho Squad, welcome back to another video. Happy Friday, y'all. I am, it looks weird in the background, huh? I am inside of a parking garage, a massive parking garage. I'm at the hospital, the VA hospital with my, well, my dad is having surgery. He's having, um, just like my, he's really just getting teeth extracted, but he refuses to like, just stay awake. So I think this has been in the, the, uh, works for like at least six months and he, they had to schedule the far out because he wanted to be put asleep and he had to like take tests and stuff to make sure he was able to be put asleep all because he doesn't want to get his teeth pulled and I was like it's not that bad that he's like I don't want to hear that sound so they put him asleep so he's basically having a surgery to get his teeth pulled so I'm here as the person for when he wakes up in case he's not able to drive home he drove up here he brought his own car because he said that he'll be able to drive home but just in case he's not then I'm here uh, they text me at like 8 28 and it's only 9 05 so i'm pretty sure it's gonna take like an hour and then he has to be in recovery for an hour so they said surgery started at 8 28 and they, they have like a little text line so i'm gonna go in there i have my video that i want to upload today so i'm going to um go in there and finish editing that and just chill i brought my book and my journal and i should be fine i won't get bored i have my hair in a bun i use some uh edge control right here so i can slick it down i didn't use gel because i didn't want it to revert or anything after i leave here i want to go to the mall just to buy a couple things i want to get like because i'm tired of ugh, ugh, story of my life man story of my life i want to get some regular everyday clothes that i can wear and look cute in tired of being front hey y'all we made it to the mall my dad is safe and sound at his home and i just really want to go to h and m i want to say h-e-b i'm gonna go to h-e-b later i feel like i go there every day i have a problem but i want to see what kind of stuff they have h and m and that's about it i'm not really gonna be doing too much or getting too much this ain't no shop it's free it's just get a little this get a little that this little gray shirt plain but cute that's what i need every day Plain, but cute. It's giving wedding. It's giving paper sack, but fabulous paper sack. I think I'll take it. I don't love this, but I don't hate it. Like, this is something I could wear running errands. I don't know. It's the color, maybe? This is a shirt dress. I like it just to run errand. I like how it like cinches. It has some type of cinching. With some tennis shoes, that'd be so cute. I kind of like this, but I don't like how it's, <sighs> this material isn't forgiving, but I don't know. This is very cute too. I like the back. Isn't this dress so cute? But this is a size small. I don't really feel that comfortable in it. Maybe I ordered online. I made it back to my car, y'all. Why is that light on back there? Didn't I close it? Okay. Anyway, I showed y'all um, okay, so I got that green dress, the green long dress that I wasn't sure about. I figured I could just throw this on, pick up the boys from school and stuff, just to look cute, you know, or just to go to the grocery store. Of course, I got this one, so cute. And then um, I got, I didn't get the dress with the collar. I got this dress, which was the shirt dress. Why did I get so much blue stuff? And then I got the first shirt. I showed you guys this shirt. It was just like a plain shirt, but comfortable. A full length shirt. That's what I've been looking for because crop tops everywhere. I got a tank top that's not a crop top. It says Los Angeles on it. Nice and long. And then I tried that the Los Angeles one on, so I figured this one is the same type. It's blue, of course, but this one says something university. What? Palm Beach University and it's full length, okay? I need more full length clothes. 
PSA. Everybody don't want to wear crop top. But my goal for the summer, my weight loss goal, is to be able to fit inside of a two-piece swimsuit. Not because I really want to wear a two-piece swimsuit. I mean, why not? Yeah, I want to wear a two-piece swimsuit. Hey, y'all. Um, it's like 7.30ish. The boys are back there at the park. This is the park I went to last time. Well, I've been coming here like every couple days. This is like my... This is like my third day in a row coming here. I like it. It's just like so natureful. So the boys seem to like it too. They over there. And I'm just walking around this little track. It has like a smaller track that goes around the uh, park, the, the playground. So, yeah. We're taking a swing break. I'm about to go. I think you're just supposed to like, I don't know, you're just supposed to like go around like this. You can't really push on this thing. Did y'all know that the sun isn't gonna set in, I don't know if it's just Houston. Sun isn't gonna set in Houston no time before eight o'clock until August. I saw it on Instagram somewhere. So what time is it? That's why I was like, let's go to the park. It's not that late. It's 7.41 and it's still nice and bright out, so the walk continues. Terrell over there doing them exercise machines. We're at 263. Oh well. Yeah, he went. Well, that's a different person. Oh, I left my water by the bench. Yeah, but the other one was a man, and that's a lady. They just had, they both had on gray. Good morning, y'all, and happy Mother's Day. It's Mother's Day, y'all, Saturday. So shout out to all the mothers. I just want to wish you guys a happy Mother's Day. I hope you enjoy your day. Me and the boys are about to get ready to go. I'm kind of whispering. They both in my room sleep. One is sleep on the floor. He just came out of his room, and the other one is in my bed. But uh, we're about to go to a brunch. The brunch is at 10.30, it's 8.11. And I'm about to put my hair in just a bun. I bought this the other day, Shining Jam. I saw another girl using it and she has straight hair because I don't want to use gel so it can revert. It's like jam. The other one was called Lush Jam, but I just use this one. It says it has Supreme Hold. I don't have nothing on my lips, but I don't think they look crusty. Oh, all right, so I've worn my hair in a bun the past couple days. I wonder, and it's gloomy, rainy outside today. I went to wear my little blue dress that I got from H&M, but it's not sunny. It's like a sunny time dress, and it's going to be raining, 73% chance of rain. So I have this orange jumpsuit. It's more covered up. I mean, but it's still shorts. Mm -mm. What if I did like a middle part? Mm. Maybe I'll just do what I've been doing. So this is my fifth time going to the brunch at the aquarium. I first started going, the first year we went was after I had Terrell. So, makes five years. A couple of times the boys came, a couple of times they didn't. But today, I'm going to focus on trying to eat better. So, I'm not gonna go crazy. Even though it's a buffet, I'm gonna try to control myself. Right, I'm gonna put this jam on here.
already kind of like prepped it. Put cocktail sauce on it already. We got your lemon juice. Don't be stingy with the lemon juice. Now you have your raw horseradish. Mm, yeah. Okay. Oh, there's okay. There's raw. Then we gotta do a little dash of this. Oh, that's a lot. It's good when the lemon seed is on there. That's how you get your protein. Uh, <laughs> Give me that Tabasco. Dang, how much stuff you gotta add to it? I think I'm gonna start saying yes though. When people say, are they twins? I'm just gonna say yes. What y'all think? They're gonna be having a whole conversation about twins. <laughs> I'm gonna try one day, but I'm scared because then they're gonna be like, what? who cares? YOLO. I've never seen these people again. <laughs> are they twins? Yes. They're fraternal. He was born 15 minutes before. <laughs> I'm just gonna make up a whole story. Actually, I had them in my bathtub. Oh. What are the people? <laughs> what are the people that help you uh, give birth? My doula. Yeah. <laughs> my doula said that I was so strong. <laughs> it was a great one. Bro, will you sleep with that thing? I didn't even know what the hell you do. What you thought I was doing? I had a whole camera. <laughs> He's dancing to Drake, guys. He's dancing to Drake. Oh no! <laughs> you did this. What are you putting? Eyeliner? Don't be taking my own miles, sir. I'm taking like a mile, sir. Get your ass minimized, sir. Cause I'll watch you every move, sir. I'll put you on the news, sir. Better watch your attitude, sir. Look what I got my mama. It's a digital photo frame. Of course I had to put all my pictures on there. This picture we took earlier today. No, no, but you still the baby. So cool. What? It's a small dog too. It feel good to be with your family. Yes, I love my family. So cool. Huh? So we just so cool. We are a cool family. Diamond, I'm gonna got better hips than you. Do it. Step with it. Step with it. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it, turn it, bow, 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 b
whatever you call this stuff out. You're supposed to put a fork in there. Get your napkin. Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. I'm gonna do it the other way. Put the fork in there. Grab the piece by the napkin. And then you're supposed to pull. Oh! <laughs> Got him! This is my meal prep, y'all, for my salads. I'm telling y'all, if you want to make good chicken, the chicken taco seasoning is what you need. Perfect flavors. Look at that. Look, hold on, let me get real close. Let me get real close so y'all can see. Mmm. Another salad done. Looks so good. This is my chicken meal prep for my other salads throughout the week. And then this is the salad mix that I used today. The H-E-B Chopped Sesame Sweets Asian salad. And it comes with all the stuff inside of it. And then these are my flowers that the boys got for me. <laughs> for Mother's Day. They were giving them out at their daycare. So they picked two of them. And I put them inside of a little vase. And then the tent that's in here is because Terrell made me a paper flower. And I guess they had like paint on it and he wanted to put it inside of here. So that's what happened with that. Good morning y'all, happy Tuesday. I just ate a granola bar so I'm gonna try not to open my mouth too much. So y'all won't see all the, the granola that's stuck in my teeth. But anyway, I am headed to a job, a temp job. They just texted me this morning. So I was like trying to rush to get ready. I told them I can't come because they wanted me to come at 8.30. It was no way because I was already like, once they texted me, I was already walking out the door with my regular clothes on, not nowhere near dress, about to drop the boys off at school. So I told them 9.30 and they said, that's cool. So... I don't know if this job is for a day or for multiple days. So we shall see. It looked like a, um, I'm about five minutes away. It, and it says I'm gonna arrive at 9.28. So, yeah. Hey y'all, I'm back. It's lunch time. We get an hour lunch and I'm about to go to Kava. For sure about to go to Kava. I've been craving Kava. I haven't been here so long. Cause they don't have one by me. Nowhere near. Can I tell right here? Mm. Yeah. But y'all, all I'm doing in there is reading my book, my parenting book. So boring, so boring, but whatever. At least I'm getting paid. I'm back y'all, that line was ridiculously long. Ridiculously long. It's 1226. But anywho, I made a delicious bowl. Look at it, look at it, look at it. We're gonna see if it's how I remember it. Yum, yum, healthy choices. They need to make more fast food places that got healthy choices. Preach, trophy. This car is waiting for me? I hope not. Oh wait, there's nobody in the car. Oh, I guess they parked it. I don't even know if they parked it though. I was like, I hope not. Fresh ingredients. Kava. I got the bowl with rice and super greens, I think. What else am I gonna do for the rest of the day, y'all? Y'all just don't understand how boring this is. I'd rather a job where I have to do stuff. This is so boring. And then the manager just keeps walking by like, I know it's slow, I know it's slow. I guess for the rest of the day, I'm gonna try to reply to as many YouTube comments as I can so I can catch up. And finish reading my parenting book. What do y'all think about the teachers? Since I'm a teacher now, I think I have a, um, a right to voice my opinion. Y'all know the, te did y'all see the video of the teacher? who got, I don't know if he got officially fired or he's on administrative leave because 
he was letting the girls take down his hair at work and he filmed it and he made like a couple videos and he be posting on social media stuff as a black teacher and he doubled down saying like it was the last 10 minutes and he had a hair appointment blah blah, blah. it was like i guess some high school girls taking down his hair and people were like he shouldn't have been fired or I don't know if he fired officially or on administrative leave or whatever it is. You're like, y'all are overreacting. Y'all are always sexualizing everything, blah, blah, blah. It's because he he's a black man. If it's anybody else. But if you if you watch more of his videos, the man is a creep. <laughs> first off, he should be fired just off of that. <laughs> I can understand. First of all, you're not supposed to be filming kids. You're not supposed to be filming kids. Period. And then it seemed like he was like doing a podcast while he was taking out his hair. It's just inappropriate. Like you know you was gonna get in trouble, bro. You supposed to be you like wasting instructional time so they could take off your take down your hair. And you're filming it. And you're posting on social media. And you're going viral. What you think your school district, your principal, anybody would like take that? Like, no, it's just it just no <laughs> don't the kids got a test that need to be studying for or something if you did do that don't film it don't put it on social media like it, with teaching you gotta draw the line you can't be putting everything on social media you have to cover your butt and he didn't cover his butt and then he didn't think he was wrong he just kept on going cause I think he got fired from the second video where he was like defending himself of why it wasn't creepy or whatever but like bro you should just delete the video kept quiet kept your job he made an updated video <laughs> my hands actually they are but i've been washing my hands but he made an updated video and then in the updated video he was crying like bro he was crying reading the letters of the kids the text messages why are kids texting you why are the girls texting you no, no, no. And then they, they called him Bestie. I'm like, hey, Bestie. Wait, why are they calling you Bestie? Bro, like, come on. Your parents didn't teach you? Like, that's a, that's a little inappropriate. And then it was another video of him, like, it's, it looked like he had a podcast because he had, like, a microphone connected to him. And he was sitting outside his classroom talking to the kids in the hallway and he was just doing a terrible job of being a teacher maybe that was his whole plan the whole time to go viral on tiktok and get fired it had to be because mm -mm. so i can definitely see why he got fired and i don't think it was wrong what do y'all think comment down below <laughs> let me know hey y'all happy thursday let me turn on this car turn on this air it's raining of course it's been raining non-stop well yesterday and the day before it wasn't raining but other than that it's been a very wet week but uh i'm about to go to the boys school <laughs> you heard me the boys school so i called the school that i'm gonna be working at and i was like um how do i get my kids enrolled and it was like they definitely have a spot for kindergarten which was which is what Terrell would be in but they said uh pre-k they already did the lottery for it and they already picked the kids and she was like so we can't put you at the front of the list just because you're a teacher I'm, I'm about to take the document up to the neighborhood school that i had already enrolled Travell in anyway like whenever they start they did the pre-k enrollment i enrolled him in the first day you know because you got to be safe better safe than sorry so i gotta take something up there to the nurse and then um for Terrell, he's gonna be a transfer, so they say I can't do that till like June 10th. So that's when I'll enroll him. So that's the neighborhood school. The only downside is um, it's a time difference. So I'll have to take them to daycare like two hours early. Cause their school I don't think starts till eight. And I'm gonna I'm have to leave around like 6.15 to get to work at well, I'll probably be able to leave around 6, 15, 6, 30 to get to work at like by 7, 20. I don't know exactly what time is too late for teachers, but I will probably just have to leave like an hour early just to be safe. So I don't think their school lets in to like 8. 
so that's the bad part but then their school lets out later so i can pick them up like right after school but i'll still put them in, in after school daycare just in case i want to stay after school some days i mean the silver lining is at least i'll be able to like not have to worry about them always been with me at the school like you know when I get off work I would instantly have to have them in my classroom or have take them home or whatever but if I have them like in before and after school care I don't have to worry about rushing home and then I can have a little peace on my drive home and then I can get acquainted with the new school and stuff and mm, I guess that's the pros but We'll see what happens, but for right now, I'm just going to make sure I do all the stuff I need to do to get to get them into the school around the corner. And then I need to find a, a new daycare because the one that they go to now, um, it, it they don't have a bus that goes to the other school. So I asked the registrar um, what daycares, and they have three daycares that go to the school. Oh, we have an Aldi over here. Part I'm, I'm probably gonna get a part-time job because these Tim jobs they ain't doing what they supposed to be doing oh is this a place where I could turn like at a light yeah so I might get like a part-time job around my neighborhood they have that uh that country club that I be walking by I can work at the country club or something I saw a sign for them hiring but they got a lot of like little places over here so I could definitely get a job like a little summertime gig so I'm going to go drop this off at the nurse and then we're going to go pick up Terrell because he said he didn't want to drive the bus home from school today. He said he wanted me to come pick him up. So I got to be in the car ride line by 340. It's 240, so I got an hour. So he's growing up so fast, y'all. He's five. It's, it seems like it seems like like probably a couple weeks before his birthday, he just started evolving into like a little... I don't know five-year-old like he just be saying what he want now and he just I don't know his his personality is definitely changing and he's more mature y'all he about to get he's on he's doing so he's doing so much better with his behavior y'all at the beginning of the school year it was very very rough very very rough very very rough so he, he barely used to get any smiley faces but now that boy be getting smiley faces back to back to back so who ate who ate it then? I don't know. You think I ate it? Mm -hmm. I didn't eat it. He eating his his donut that he didn't want the rest of today. And he's talking about I didn't eat it like this. He thinks somebody else ate his donut. That's how much you left behind. Mm-hmm. Truck Bell first, and now we're about to go get in the car by the line so we can get to realm. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell y'all. So I received the email from the teachers. Uh, the kindergarten teachers, y'all, it's five. It's going to be five teachers on my team. So it's going to be three teachers that's already there, and then it's going to be uh, two new teachers. That's a lot of uh, teachers on a team. So that's pretty cool. I've never had five teachers on a team. Usually it's like me and another teacher. My last three years, it was me and another teacher. And then before that, it was me and two other teachers. Never five teachers. So that should be great. I have plenty of support. It has to be one nice one on there that'll really that I really like click with. Or hopefully all of us. I want new friends, you guys. <laughs> Work is the perfect place to make friends. Good thing I picked the boys up early, y'all. It's supposed to be a they said a tornado is passing through. Our lights are off right now. And they said it's a tornado going I, I saw something that said 40 miles per hour and then I saw something that said 70 miles per hour in our area around this time. So they said to get off the road. So hopefully all, hopefully all the people can get home safe. Oh, it's getting scary out there. Huh? I hear that. I hear that scary gun. Mm-hmm. Y'all see them trees? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Travel, go get back in the bed. Go get back in the bed. Yeah, yeah. Let me get back in this window. Yeah, yeah. 
Come on, boys. Come on. What? I don't know. I don't like storms. I used to be scared of storms. Oh, come on. Come get out. Get over here on the floor. Get on, over here by the floor by me. Fun fact, when I was little, <laughs> you can ask mama and all my siblings, every time it would storm like this, I would cry. I'm like, it's going to be a hurricane. It's going to be a hurricane. Even though we don't have... No, I used to say it's going to be a tornado. It's going to be a tornado. Oh, shit. Oh, Lord. That's a big one. That is a big one. It's so big. Uh huh. I had to get away from that window, though. That was so bad. Was that sleep? No, that was not sleep. What's the door? Maybe we should go downstairs. Come on, boys. Let's go downstairs. If it gets too bad, we got about, us a little closet. The thing for snakes. Look how this is for sleep. Mm-hmm. This is for sleep, Jabelle. Tornado. Oh, it say take shelter near the basement. Basement? What that mean? The basement? That mean like downstairs. Downstairs. Take shelter now in a basement or an interior room on the lower floor of a sturdy building. Oh, we look bad out there, y'all. I, I would show y'all. You gotta pee? Okay, come on, let's go. It's okay. Right here. Don't be scared, come on. I'm right here with you. Oh shit, I heard something at the window. Come on, let's go. Where's that? That's just stuff flying all over the damn place. Slate, like, you wanna come in here with us? Well, let me see what else they talking about. They gonna bite him. Everybody lights out. Huh? So this is until 6.45. It's 6.20 right now. My hair look a mess. <laughs> What's new? Oh, y'all hear that? Yeah. It sound bad out there. Oh, the light's blinking again. I get in here. <laughs> he was brave. Travel said, Slade don't believe this. <laughs> and I said, why he don't believe? He's like, he wasn't scared. He didn't want to come in the closet. <laughs> he was scratching. <laughs> No, I don't say he was going to scratch you. Uh-oh, what he was doing? He was, he, he was going downstairs and, and, and he's laying right now. And he took on the closet and, mm. and he's put that brave. Oh, are, are you being brave? No. <laughs> Wait, where if we go over there and... I'm over there. You're still being brave though, because you're not crying. You're being a big boy. There's not yeah. nothing to be scared of. we safe. Travel is my little. What? He, he gets it from me. What did he say? Nothing. I was going to say, you're very cautious like me. What's that, Yuma? Spit it up. I'm cautious like you? No, you, you're you fearless. You don't you don't care about nothing that's going on. I, I, I don't care. I know. And I said I'm cautious because I do care. I do, I do care. care. I do care too. You do? I, I do care too. You do care? And me too. Okay. I'm glad we was home though because right now we would be at the um, gym if I let them go to karate practice today. But they went to karate three times this week so that's enough. It could go every day but no, 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 no. That's too much. Let me see if there are any updates in the ring. Hey guys, it's the next morning. Y'all know that little storm that was happened last night? The little storm that rolled through? It was actually a very powerful storm. Over 1 million people in Houston are without power. But thank God we have power. Thank God. We don't have internet, but we have power. So the boys are from school today. And I'm just gonna use today to just chill and clean up. But I wanted to um, show you guys. I got this in a package. They sent this for me to try. 
is True Earth. These are laundry detergent eco strips. I have never heard of these until they reached out to me. So I was like, heck yeah. For a small load, use a half strip. For a regular load, use one strip. For a extra large load, use two strips. I'm gonna do a small strip with one, a small load with one strip instead of a half strip because I don't really trust it all the way, but we're gonna see. So I'm gonna wash a lot of clothes today and just stay in the house for breakfast. I made pancakes, eggs, and sausage. I got the le leftover chili mac. That's what I'm gonna make. I'm gonna try to not go nowhere today. Hopefully tomorrow it's a little better because I really don't got that much food in here. So yeah, but today we got enough for today. They said people may be without power for 48 hours. And I hey y'all, I just want to come show my face real quick just to say bye. I used to um detergent stuff and so far, I mean, it's decent. It don't smell like amazingly good. It does have a scent. But anyway, I just came to say bye y'all. Yeah, I'll give you some more. Hold on one second. So, bye y'all. We've been chilling in the house all day. Just bye y'all.